Not everyone can drive one of London's iconic black cabs. Patrick has been roaming the capital's streets on his scooter for two years now. He's learning the 320 routes and 30,000 points of interest needed to pass the legendary knowledge test. The only one of its kind, all black cab drivers have to sit the 350-year-old exam, even today in the age of sat-nav. The knowledge is the, is the foundation of knowing a six-mile radius of Charing Cross Station um, because a six-mile radius was the distance that it was felt two horses with luggage and two customers could travel before they would need a break with water. To stay financially afloat while studying, Patrick has found the perfect job as a dispatch rider. On average, the knowledge takes four years to pass, but those who do succeed know they're somewhat exceptional. According to scientific studies, the part of the brain where memory is stored is significantly larger in London's black cab drivers than in the general public. I mean, I wake up in the morning sometimes thinking about roads. I go to bed at night time thinking about roads. I, you know, in the middle of my day, wherever I'm going, and whenever I'm on my motorbike, I'll call the road name which I'm on. Despite its global fame, the London Black Cab is not exempt from competition. Private companies can pick up customers as long as they book in advance. And since 2012, the US-based taxi app Uber has shaken up the market, allowing users to team up with drivers in minutes. England's High Court has ruled in favour of the app that it does not count as a traditional meter and is therefore not unlawful. And many clients are happy to opt for the convenience as well as lower prices. The question for them is why the knowledge is still required when every smartphone has GPS built in. There's been multiple tests throughout the ages when sat-navs were introduced where the knowledge students or the black cabs, once they've done the knowledge, would beat the sat-nav hands down. Uber and the Uber drivers in a Prius who don't know where they're going and are following a sat-nav most of the time crash looking at that sat-nav. I mean, there's no competition. The Mayor of London is planning much stricter regulation of minicab services like Uber, which could mean English language and map reading tests for drivers. But that won't be as stringent as the knowledge, which only one in five pass. For Patrick, the sat-nav will never be a match for the human brain.